Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a new video. It's your boy JNARK aka Crystal World, and today we have a new video where Matt Stafford is on the Rams as he got traded. So we just did a trade right now with uh, Matt Stafford being on the Rams, and um, as we can see here, um, we gave them a first and a second of next year and Jared Goff for Matt Stafford, and it worked from the looks of it. So we have Matt Stafford now. We acquired Matt Stafford. And this is obviously during the off season before um, this upcoming season, so we're not gonna touch the team as we want to keep it real as possible. Only thing we really can do is uh, re-sign players, but nonetheless, we could see how well uh, Matt Stafford does as um, we have him as the as our QB one, and we're gonna keep the the team looking like this and see how well it, how well it goes. And without further ado, let's sim to the end of the season. So at the end of the season here. We finished six and ten with <laughs> Matt Stafford at QB. Very interesting, um, I'd say the least. But eighty-five offense, eighty-four defense. I want to see what happened. I want to see who upgraded. So good amount of upgrades on the team defensively. Good amount of upgrades as well. Um, cornerbacks are pretty nice. Let's see how we did statistically with Matt Stafford being another QB. Seahawks went 14 and 2, so they were obviously a problem. Our offense is 22nd in the NFL, and then our defense was um, seventh. So we had a top tier defense. Matthew Stafford had 30 touchdowns and 20 interceptions. Wow, that's really bad. 20 interceptions. Josh Reynolds had 11 TDs. Pretty nice. 20 interceptions is insane. Aaron Donald has six and a half sacks, though. Leonard Floyd didn't do much, so we're not going to keep him. Darius Williams and Jalen Ramsey both had six picks in total. So, let's read the playoff bracket. So, the playoff bracket's looking like here. Interesting. Um, okay, so, we did pretty poor this season. So, we're going to send to the Super Bowl. Two roll is Brown Saints. Wow. Offensive rookie here went to Cam Akers, so he's our guy. Brown Saints. There's actually no point for us to scout. All we could really do is focus on free agencies because we don't even have a future. <laughs> but basically, that 6 and 10 is the same thing as the Rams uh, winning a game against the Seahawks and then losing to the Packers like this past year. So it's like. A waste of a year, basically. So we're not even gonna worry about scouting players, honestly. We're just gonna sim to next week as it's Brown Saints. Winners are the the Browns. So we have 18 players ready to negotiate. We have to resign these uh these guys. We lost our left tackle. He probably retired due to old age. So we have John Johnson, the third here. We have to give him a deal. He's young. We'll make sure we keep him around. He's back. Darius Williams wants a one-year deal. Leonard Floyd, no. Gerald Ever will let you walk. Austin Blythe, we're going to keep you around just to protect uh, Matthew Stafford. Josh Reynolds. We got him back. Troy Hill, maybe we could keep you. You did have a solid year for us as well. He wants to test free agency out. Samson and Bukam. We got Samson and Bukam back. Then we have the kicker. Doesn't really matter. We won't even be able to afford him, so we're going to have to let the other guys walk. But, so... We let Darius Williams walk as well. We do need a left tackle. And so we're probably going to... We only have 40k available in cap. So what we're going to do is see if we can trade some players. Just to get these uh, other positions. This quarterback, we have him still. We have Daryl Henderson Jr. Who we could trade for to help out with the offensive line. Still have a good receiver core. Tight end, we could just draft someone. O-line is still good. And we kept our main players. 
D tackle is good. Left end is good. Left -hand side is all right. Middle linebackers will keep those guys the same. We have a good amount of right outside linebackers here. Um, safeties is good. So what we could do is trade um, Terrell Lewis to the Bears for a left tackle. We'll take Charles Leno Jr. We'll be over cap though if you try to take him. Terrell Lewis to the Chargers. And we want a corner. We want a corner that's young. Rashad Fenton could work. Let's trade him to a team that needs him. Niners have cap. We just need a left tackle. Um, left us a linebacker, Drake Greenlaw, cornerbacks, Kwan Williams. Make a better offer, they said. Lions as well. Maybe we could get Taylor Decker from them. Taylor Decker. They want a middle linebacker. We give them Micah Kaiser. They're not interested. Um, right outside linebacker. We give them Justin Hollins for Taylor Decker. They're not interested in making a better offer. Let's go by with a corner. Armani. That would be a good corner for us. We can honestly give them a pick. Like next year's third or something. Next year's third for our money. Okay. Next year's third and this year's six. For that cornerback, I feel like that would go through. They said a bit more value. Do we have anything higher than that? No, we do not. So we're just gonna give them this year's third. So we got that. We upgraded the cornerback position. And so now we have one, two, three, four, four corners. And I think Troy Hill's probably injured. So that's gonna be our corner crew. And then um, still need left outside linebacker. So what I want to do is still trade away Terrell Lewis. See, we get a left outside. Steelers for a left outside linebacker. Troy Die. I have no problem with trading for Troy Die. So we got that. Left tackle is still of need. What we could do is move with Sean Robinson and get a left tackle. Let's see what we could get here. Get Charles Leno Jr. They said make a better offer. How about Buccaneers? What do you guys have? We just need a left tackle for just one season. No, Donovan Smith costs way too much. DJ Humphreys though could work. Trade off was accepted. So we just got a new left tackle. So we just kind of bumped the team. We kind of helped out the team. Um, if we look at it now, a new left tackle. Offensive line is solid. We still need a tight end, though. Receiver core is good. Just need a tight end. Linebackers is not the greatest, but you can definitely just sign some players. I think that's all right. What we could do is move one of the backup safeties for um for position, but it says we have 40k available in cap. Hopefully we have a little bit more than that. We have five million available, so that's pretty nice. So what we could do is um go with a tight end like uh, Virgil Green, sign him so he could be our backup. Joe Green as the backup, and then D tackles. Solomon Thomas as a backup as well. Solomon Thomas as a backup, and then we need a right end as backup as well. Brent Urban. We're just trying to make sure that Matthew Stafford has a crew to work with, just so uh, we're not. Left out to dry with this team. Left us a linebacker. We're gonna have to keep it the same. Keep those young guys. Middle linebacker could go Devondre Campbell or Danny Trevathan. Give a younger guy. Give the younger guy some reps. Learn from a veteran. Wouldn't it hurt. Give it to him. Right outside we have Ebukam who we re-signed. Safeties is good. Kicker we need a kicker. So Cairo Santos something light. So 
we got the kicker. So I'm pretty sure we did this pretty nice then at this point. I mean, we get advanced in next week of the off season. No one accepted it. Advance another week. If no one accepts, we're gonna just try another. Solomon Thomas and Danny Trevathan rejected me. Okay. So we didn't get the D tackle still. Still position of need. Middle linebacker down to high towers available. Um You know, it wouldn't hurt trying to go with Danta. He's out with a peak completely. How long? Out 12 weeks. I'm give him this deal. I don't care if he accepts it or not. But we're just trying to see if we get a add some depth onto the team. And the same thing with the D tackle position. Just trying to see if we could add some depth. And all these guys have some offers from all these teams. Um let's go to a guy who has no offers like Marcel Darius. He's not injured, so this should work out for us. Cool. So hopefully, hopefully these guys accept with the last week coming up. Accept it. So our only only person that didn't accept was the right end, which is okay. So let's sim to next season. Okay, so we sim to next season. Offense is an 84, defense is an 83. O-line, pretty solid, good tight end core. Got good receivers. I don't know who we drafted, but we're fine with that. Middle linebackers is good as well. These are what our linebackers look like. Not bad. Secondary is pretty solid. And um, yeah, I'm not too mad with the corners. Not too mad with the corners. We dropped some D ends or D linemen that are rookies. So, not too mad with that. Defense should still be the same. Still be pretty nice. Offense should be pretty solid as well. Left that side linebacker would be another position of need, but I don't think they have any free agents that would uh, help us out. Besides Antonio Brown and some corners that they have here. We could sign a cornerback just to be safe. To sign Quentin Dunbar if we even have the funds. We do. So we signed Quentin Dunbar just to have some uh, depth available. Left us on linebackers. They have Terrell Basham. So we could sign Terrell Basham. And then maybe just release someone. And then that would be the squad that we go with to see how well they can do. We're just going to try to release someone. Matthew Stafford. <laughs> Um, we're going to try to release someone that's not going to cost too much. And Justin Holland is a starter, though. Troy Dye, Kenny Young, Marcel Aitman, Troy Reader. Oh, if it's looking like there's no point of me releasing them, then. We have two punters. There's no, re there's no reason for two punters on the team. Yeah, there's no reason for two punters on the team. And then we'll just go for another position that doesn't need to be there. Just so we could have Terrell Basham. Wide receiver, Tristan Jackson. Yeah, you can go to release Tristan Jackson. So now we should be able to get Terrell Basham. Free agents. We would still be low. We would still be negative. Alright, that's fine. Let's advance the regular season. Upgrade the players. I forgot we still have John Wolford as backup. And let's see what the team looks like. 84 offense, 83 defense. Like, your offensive line is still solid. Tight ends is good. Like, receiver core is still pretty good as well. Like, I don't think there should be anything wrong with this core. 
and then defense. So got the same middle linebackers. Same linebacker is not gonna be the same pass rush, but it'll be all right because the D line is still just as stout. And corners are pretty good as well. I feel like this should be a solid year for the Rams, but I feel like these are the best moves the Rams can make just to still be contenders. And the first game is against the Lions, divisional foes, the team they traded with. Let's see if they win this matchup. We lost 28 to three. Oh my gosh. They lost 28 to three, that's not good. That's not good. Maybe they make, maybe the Rams make a middle of the season trade. Send Terrell Burgess, youngin, to the to a team for a middle linebacker, cause they're in dire need for Logan Wilson. How about the Broncos? Cause this is looking pretty rough now. We lost twenty eight to three to a team that we shouldn't have lost to. Malik Reed, Trevor was accepted, so he's got our new middle linebacker. I mean, our new safety. No, a new linebacker. What am I saying? So the Conquero, we can move him for a middle linebacker. Lions have shown interest. Who are their middle linebackers? Jelani Tavai. Oh, they don't even have cap room to make that move. Oh, Conquero doesn't get any love from anyone. How about Troy Die? Troy Dye has interest from the Seahawks. So we just need a backup middle linebacker. Devondre Campbell. That's all he wanted before. Oof. They're gonna give him to us. We're gonna give them. We're gonna give them a seventh of this year. For Devondre Campbell. Bat. So he's got a middle linebacker. And we just got a new left outside linebacker with all with the change of the safety position. With the backup safety position. So that should be pretty solid for us. Now we have a new middle linebacker one. And then we're gonna just change Ebukam to right outside linebacker. He is a right outside linebacker. I don't know why he doesn't want. Well, Alright, so what we need to do is fix the depth chart. Yeah, so he's a middle, he's a right outside linebacker. So all we gotta do is fix the depth chart. And we should be pretty solid now. We should be real solid. Shouldn't be losing 28 to 3. To Jared Goff and the Lions. There's no way. Even though Matt Stafford has regressed. Jared Goff's a 79 as well. And he's younger. <laughs> Makes no sense to me. Um, let's look at the left outside linebacker position. That's good. Let's go to Conquer. We'll back him up. Cool. We got him. Right outside. We need that Bukam there. Then Justin Hollins is backing him up. Cool. Middle linebacker, Kaiser, and then Kenny Young. Cool. Strong safety, John Johnson, the third. And free safety, we have Taylor Rapp and Jordan Fuller and Victor Robertson. So good. We should be good. So let's send to the end of the season, and we should be better now. And we didn't make the playoffs again. We went 5-11 and this year. Matt Stafford is not the way to go for the Rams. That's what this that's what this has taught me. Matt Stafford is not the way to go. That's bad. We we finished worse than last year. Offense was 27th. Matthew Stafford, 29 touchdowns on seven picks, better than last year. But that's not good. Cooper Cup had a thousand yards though. Defense. What happened? 12 sacks for Aaron Donald, and then no more no more pass rush from anybody. Barely any takeaways. Our offense was 27th. Defense was, let's see, 20th. Yeah, I don't think this Matthew Stafford trade to the, the Rams is going to be a good move. Just from what Madden shows me in real life, I think they're going to be pretty nice. But it wasn't a good move on this, so we're just going to have to see in real life how it plays plays out. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. Comment down below what other teams want to see me rebuild, do some quick rebuilds like this. And um, without further ado, guys, you got to be a fiend to succeed. Peace.